Good evening and welcome to Hungary Reports, starting off public media and one's foreign language news shows. I'm Cenga Gabriela Iboya with today's news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin. Let's begin. The coronavirus is ever-changing and adapting. New and newer mutations appear, so it is not possible to talk about flock immunity, said the head of the Department of the National Public Health Centre on the morning programme of Koshut Radio. At the same time, Agnes Gargotzi reminded everyone that vaccination elicits a rapid immune response, meaning it helps to avoid serious illness. Currently, the fourth vaccine is primarily recommended for the elderly, chronically ill and healthcare workers. Agnes Gargotzi also talked about the fact that Omicron is much more contagious than the previous variants. Last week's vaccination, vaccination Action Week was even more successful than previous ones, announced the head of the National Vaccination Working Group. Istvan Jörg said almost 144,000 vaccines were given in those three days. He added the vaccination campaign will continue this week as well. From Thursday to Saturday, vaccinations can be requested again at more than 100 hospitals and district clinics without having to book an appointment. Wages were 10% higher in November compared to the same period a year before that. This means a 2.5% increase in real earnings, even including inflation. The gross average wage was 482,004 forints, or some 1,344 euros, and the net almost 321,000 forints. For the first time since April, the annual growth rate was in double digits again. State Secretary Shandor Bodo said on M1 that wages are expected to increase even further this year. Prime Minister Viktor Orban, the president of Fidesz, will take part in a meeting of European Conservative Party leaders in Madrid later this week. One Spanish newspaper wrote that the president of the right-wing Spanish party, Vox's Santiago Abascal, will host invited European leaders in Madrid this weekend. Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban and Polish Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki have already indicated their participation in the summit. The Hungarian-Croatian relations prove that Central Europe is getting stronger. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Trade spoke about this at a conference held in connection with the 30th anniversary of the establishment of Hungarian-Croatian diplomatic relations. Peter Sierto said that cooperation and friendship can also be measured in economic benefits. He added, based on the first 10 months of the previous year, it could be said that records were broken when it comes to Hungarian-Croatian trade turnover. And that's all for now, but don't forget you can catch Hungry Reports every night after 11 o'clock news and online as always. Do stick around and watch our German, Russian and Chinese language news. Thank you for watching and have a lovely evening.